Hello everyone, let us discuss this interesting algebra problem. We have been given the value of xy equal to 10, yz equal to 20, zx equal to 30. And we have to find the value of x square plus y square plus z square. Let's find an easier way to solve this question. To simplify this question, first of all, what I will do is, I will multiply this both the sides with the value z. And I will find the value of x, y, z. That will be equal to 10 times of z. So the idea is to multiply this by that variable which is not available here. Here it is x and y so I will multiply this both side by z. In this one if you will see there is no x here on the both sides. So I will multiply both the sides with x here. So it will become x y z equal to 20x. Same is the case here. Here it is z and x are available so I will multiply both the sides with y. So by doing this what I am trying to do is I am trying to find the value of x, y, z in terms of x, y and z. So we can see that x, y, z is nothing equal to 20x, 30y and 10z. So this is the equation we, which we can make from the given condition. So now by using this we will find the value of x square plus y square plus z square. So to simplify this first of all what I will do is I will find the ratio of x, y, z by using this equality 20x equal to 30y equal to 10z. So to do this what I will do is I will find the LCM of 20, 30 and 10 and that is the value 60. So I will divide this whole expression by 60 on each side. So here it will become 20 by 60, 30 by 60, 10 by 60. So this can be written as x by 3 is equal to y by 2 is equal to z by 6. That's what we can do. So now I can find the value of x, y, z in terms of a, another variable that is k. Because I can define the ratio value to be equal to k. So x can be written as 3k, y can be written as 2k, z can be written as ck. So now I will just find the value of k. To do this, I will put the value of x, y and z here on this side, left side. And here also on the right side, I will put the value of x in terms of k. So the equation that will be formed is this one. 3k, 2k, 6k multiplication is equal to 20 multiplied by 3k. So if you will see now 3k, 3k will cancel out. Eventually it will become equation something like this. Even if you are not cancel out, this will become 36k cube is equal to 60k. But now since the value of k cannot be 0, you can cancel out k both the side. It will give you k square is equal to 60 by 36. So k will be nothing but 5 by 3 after cancelling out. Now we have to find the value of x square plus y square plus z square. So I will just put these values of x, y, z here. Rather than finding the value of x, y, z, I will put these values in terms of k here. You will get 3k square, 2k square, 6k square sum which is nothing but 9k square, 4k square plus 36k square. So that value will come out to be 49k square. Now I will put the value of k square here so that it can be easily simplified to find the value of x square plus y square plus z square. So this will become 49 multiplied by 5 by 3 which is nothing but 245 by 3. So this was the method by which I have solved this equation. If you have another method in your mind just write down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.